jumping around and blowing up the door and doing stuff to go on the field is because a lack of training, it's because a lack of manners. They don't know any better. Not to say when it's dominant, but that's, 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 that's silly. Um, dominance, I mean, definition wise speaking, people associate it with strength, they associate it with um, following and, and leading and authority and things like that. And so, you have to keep in mind it's not the relationship. If you want to really break it down, I get nitpicky about it. Dominant or the aspect of is a single part of a relationship. Okay? That can happen over just one event, or it can happen over the lifetime of an animal. All right? So, and you know, I'll share the example with are, are you left handed or right handed? Or what's your dominant hand? All right? If you go and pick up a pen with your left hand, does your right hand come over and like, I'll throw it away, give me that pen! All right, no, that's just dumb. That's, that's, I, it's, it's my dumb. I mean, so it's, it's a clear choice. It's something that we're doing. It's, it's a choice, all right? You're following the direction for a specific purpose because the hand is better at writing than the hand is, all right? Well, doing something for a specific choice kind of sounds like positive reinforcement, doesn't it? Doing something to get what you want, okay? Remember we already said, dogs play your options. So if they lay your options, they know what's going to happen. They want to shut something off they don't like or they want to get something that they want, okay? Now it comes to dominance because they know what choices are out there. So if you think about just one person, right? And let's pretend this one person is in church. Uh, they might ask a certain one. Remember we already said, behavior is environmentally important. Is the priest dominating the congregation? Or is the congregation going there for a specific purpose, for spirituality, to learn, right? So let's get the same person and put them, and let's say our teacher, okay? They're going to have a specific relationship with their students. Is it because that teacher is dominating their students? No. There's a relationship there. There's also a different relationship if you bring that teacher and put that teacher in a room with other teachers. All right? Now let's take that teacher and put her in a room with the principal. All right? It's about the relationship and it's about who's doing what and who's getting what. Okay? There's all sorts of different things up there. My favorite is the taxi driver. All right, when you get into a cab, who's the dominant one there? Hmm. I would say the driver, <laughs> okay? But why does he take us where we want to go? Because we pay him, right? We, we pay him. He wants to. He says, where can I take you? And what do you do? You give them clear directions where you want to go. You give them an address. You give them a place. You give them an airport. You give them something where, I want to go here. Okay? That needs to be us with our dogs. Alright? Our dogs are the drivers. They can choose at any point in time through this, sorry to be, you know, realistic, but free will. Okay? They can flip the dog and run the other direction if they really choose to. Why don't they? Because they don't want to. They want to work with us. So, even though they might be doing and driving, they still go where we want them to go because we make it worth their while. Okay? Don't make training a power struggle because you will lose. Dogs are really great at teaching us humility. So, so just outsmart your dog. Alright? You reinforce the habits that you want to increase. Ignore stuff you don't want to increase. Alright? And the dog will do what you want. Alright? Remember that scale? If you say, I am 